I have great news for you today. The Liberty herbicide price has come down. I don't care if we're talking generic glufosinate, name brand Liberty, the price is less expensive. That's exciting to me because we're gonna see a lot of Liberty sprayed on soybeans. We're gonna see a lot of Liberty sprayed on corn. We're gonna see a lot of Liberty sprayed in burn down situations just like we had five, six years ago before the price started going up. But here's the thing. Liberty is a lot different product than Roundup. If you don't want to use Roundup, you don't want to use Germoxone as your burn down or in crop for Roundup, whatever, you're switching to Liberty. Well, you need to use this product the right way. We're going to talk today about how to get the most effectiveness out of the dollars you invest in glufosinate. First of all, you're going to need different spray tips to spray Liberty or glufosinate than you are with most of the products that you're using on your farm. Think about it like this. If you're spraying dicamba or if you're spraying Roundup or glyphosate, you've got big droplets. You're concerned about drift and you're trying to just get some big droplets on just a few of them on the plant because that's going to be enough to kill it in most cases. Liberty doesn't work like that at all. Number one, we don't have the volatility concerns with Liberty. We're not worried about it moving off target like we are with dicamba. We're also not as fussy about the drift as we are with Roundup. Now, don't get me wrong. We don't want to spray in a 20 mile an hour wind, but it's not near the problem that Roundup is. We need smaller droplets with Liberty in order to get weed control, and we aren't as concerned about what kind of negative impact that can have. Now, I'm not saying you want the tiniest little fines that are going to blow away but I am saying you want to get to that medium sized droplet, maybe even a little bit smaller, so you can get great coverage on the weeds. The other thing is using more water. With glyphosate, we want less water. With glufosinate or Liberty, we want more water. You've got to have a lot of water, a lot of spray pressure, and really blast that Liberty or glufosinate down to every last leaf you can possibly touch on the plant. Liberty does not move in the plant the same way that glyphosate does. With glyphosate, if you get enough of a dose on any leaf, it will move throughout that plant. It just doesn't work that way, unfortunately, with Liberty. You've got to kind of coat that plant. So when you hear that, you might think, oh, Liberty is a terrible product. No, it's a great product. We love Liberty. It just has to be sprayed a little bit different, and it can work extremely well. The other big difference with Liberty is when it comes to spray additives. We've heard a lot of talk about ammonium sulfate over the last few years about, hey, we probably should be taking ammonium sulfate out of the tank. And that's true anytime you have dicamba in the tank, whether it's sprayed alone or in a tank mix, you've got to take the ammonium sulfate out. It actually increases volatility with dicamba. However, with Liberty, it's a very important process of how the Liberty actually works. It needs that ammonium in there in order for the Liberty to kill the weed. The last thing I'll throw in here with Liberty is it really likes sunny days and warm temperatures. So if you're out there and it's cold, if you're out there and it's cloudy, you may not get the same effectiveness. So as much as you can, spray when it's sunny and warm. So here's the key points to remember when it comes to Liberty or glufosinate. It's an excellent herbicide. We love the product. It still does a very good job. There are no weeds known to be resistant to this product. The keys to a successful application are use smaller droplet size, use more gallons of water for carrier, make sure to add ammonium sulfate. We like to see three pounds of ammonium sulfate per acre, and then spray the Liberty at a full rate on warm days with sunshine. If you do all those things, you'll be super happy with how your Liberty does this year. Oh, one thing we should throw in here too is Liberty, like all herbicides, works better on smaller weeds. So don't let your weeds get a foot tall. Kill them when they are two to four inches tall. Follow the other things Darren just mentioned and you'll be happy with Liberty. Well, and if you do all those things, you will definitely take control of our Weed of the Week. We'll show you what else will work on it coming up next. <music>